this is uh, the, the bush of the desert uh, again. Uh, this bush is uh, highly liked by the camel because of its high salt contents. So we can say that this is a salt bush of the desert. This uh, bush also grow in the area where some water, rainwater are, uh, is available or uh, uh, passed uh, through the area. So this is, uh, we can see the, the, the leaves are like bulbs. These are bulbs, these are not uh, leaf. So one can see that uh, these are bulbs filled with water. This is the water, and uh, we can see the greenish, uh, this uh, solution, liquid. This is a very rich air source of salts. So when the camel eat, they fulfill their salt requirement because camel need um, more salts. So, and uh, nowadays, uh, there was a few days before there were uh, rain so these are the flowers they are now well grown uh, they, they got some water uh, so these are the flowers uh, these are the um, the buds the flowers so this is very rich source of uh, water and rich source of salts for the camel uh, one can see the water which come from it so uh, usually we say that the camel do not drink uh, more water because the salt bushes, the desert bushes, they have stored a lot of water in their leaves, in their bulbs. So when the camel uh, eat these plants, they have, uh, they fulfill the water requirement from the, uh, from these plants. So you can see some bulbs are uh, shedded over here. So they they remain here and they slowly uh, slowly slowly release this water to the roots of the plants again so this is a very rich source of water rich source of salt and highly resistant to drought and dry conditions of the area this is the uh, this is the uh, ice cream species for camel again uh, you can see it is widely available in the area. This is a dry area, desert. This is a desert area. Because of rain, some water passed through here. They got a lot of water. They know they are very uh, fresh, very succulent, uh, very tender. You can see uh, this, uh, uh, this plant.